From being one of the most praised companies in the industry, P Nation went to losing three of their biggest artists in the span of a few weeks. And as you can tell, this is raising a lot of eyebrows. Psy first established P Nation when he left YG Entertainment in May of 2018. The reason he left was to start his own label, and on January 23rd, 2019, he announced on Instagram that he had named it P Nation. I've established a company, a name of which is P Nation. I would like to share things that I've learned as a PD manager director of Psy for 19 years. Allow me to make a playground for passionate players chasing their dreams with sweats. This proved to be a smart decision as he hit big at the very beginning. The day after the announcement, he signed an exclusive contract with none other than Jesse. If Jesse had chosen P Nation, then it meant that she trusted them enough with her music and that was all fans needed. Then things got even better. Two days later, Sai announced that he had also signed K-pop's it couple, Hyuna and Eon, under his agency. Considering Cube Entertainment had kicked them both out after the dating news broke out, P Nation felt like a savior. The company built quite a reputation for themselves only a few days after the agency had been established. Things only got better when they signed Crush in July of 2019 and then Hayes in September of 2020. At this point, P Nation had a company full of talented artists, and on paper, they were the perfect agency. Wanting their favorite idols and groups to sign under P Nation became kind of a running joke among K-pop fans, and out of all the labels, they were deemed as the best one. Well, that was until the rose-colored glasses came off. Being the first artist they signed, Jessie built a pretty close relationship with Psy and the other artists under the label. The song she released while she was under P Nation became quite popular, she was the host of some variety shows that were also doing great, so things seemed perfect. Keyword here is seemed, because it turns out that Jessie didn't have as much creative freedom as people originally thought. Jessie and Psy's great relationship didn't translate into their work, because they had some creative differences that obviously bothered Jessie. She had expressed that the process of working with Psy drove her crazy, even though he had laid off her ever since the release of Nunu Nana. Jessie also said, I am still going crazy. Actually, no matter how much Sai and I fight, I lose. We fight a lot, but we are both honest and there is no end to it. But now that I am older, it is hard to fight. We are still arguing. Jessie had also talked about how Sai pushed her to promote the song she didn't want to promote, and how Sai tried to control her in different ways from her releases to the way she dressed. She also wasn't promoted as well as she deserved to. She was always rushed to produce her singles, and when they were released, she only got to promote them on variety shows that she was a part of, like Showed Review and Six. Also, in the three years that Jessie was a part of P Nation, she didn't release even one physical album. So it's no wonder that she decided to not extend her contract with P Nation when it came to an end. She parted ways with the company on July 6, 2022, assuring fans that they were still on good terms despite everything. However, a line from her post really got the attention of the netizens. She said, I understand people can make assumptions right now based on my current situation, but the truth shall reveal itself in a matter of time. Some thought that the truth in question was about the way P Nation and Sai had treated her. Some thought that it was about her opening up an agency of her own. Jessie will probably reveal it in the future. This isn't something that happened only with Jessie though, as Hyuna and other artists under P Nation went through something similar. After Cube Entertainment kicked her out for dating Dawn, P Nation took both Hyuna and Dawn in, and fans were more than happy about this. Hyuna would be able to date freely and be involved in the creative process of her music. What more could they ask for? Even though the music that Hyuna was releasing under P Nation wasn't exactly like the music she had released in the past, she she seemed happy. Then fans started to notice that her situation with P Nation wasn't ideal. Being arguably their biggest artist, you'd think that Hyuna would be treated like royalty, but it was exactly the opposite. She barely got any comebacks, and when she did, the releases were infrequent and very rushed, and it showed. Some said that it was because of her health, but is that really an excuse for the lack of effort the company put into her releases, teasers, and packaging of the album? Not really. The comeback teasers were released only a few days before the album, and the packaging was of poor quality and missed photo cards or the photo book. If that wasn't bad enough, the promotions didn't last long and were very low budgeted. Plus, in all the years that Hyuna was a part of the company, she never released a full album. We know that she intended to release one and even had the songs ready because she had talked about it nonstop for two years. Prior to the release of Navalera, Hyuna had hinted that her upcoming album would be a full one, so imagine the fan surprise when Navalera only had five songs. People assumed that Sai had pushed Hyuna to release a mini album instead of the one she had originally planned to release. It was no wonder that fans were demanding accountability from the company, knowing that Hyuna would have released a full album, yet she wasn't allowed to. Sai had also talked before about the fights he had with Hyuna, and both her and Jessie had complained about Sai being too controlling and a perfectionist over their work. Their ideas almost always clashed with each other, but being the CEO, Sai mostly got his way. This showed in the comment Don left on Hyuna's picture announcing the departure. Moving forward, let's freely and coolly make music, perform, and love. I love you. Which made people believe 
he was implying the two weren't as free under Sai's management as everyone was led to believe. So when everyone saw that Hyuna and Don would be departing from the company, everyone saw it as good news. Hyuna seemed quite torn about it because while performing ping pong at her last festival as a P Nation artist, she burst into tears. People didn't know why she was crying because the news of her leaving didn't hit the media yet, so they thought that it was a health issue. So even though people might have opinions about Hyuna's treatment in the company, she's probably quite sad about leaving it since she and Sai were close. Don wasn't prioritized any better. He was mostly promoted as Hyuna's boyfriend, and based on what we've seen from the media, he was portrayed as having no quality outside of being her boyfriend. Which is horrible, and he deserves more recognition. He made his solo debut on the same day as Hyuna's comeback, which didn't serve him right as everyone was mostly focused on his girlfriend. He didn't have a physical album, so the fans couldn't support the comeback by buying physical copies. In 2021, his only comeback was Ping Pong with Hyuna, and his solo discography consists of one single, a digital mini album, a collab album with Hyuna, and some collabs that have his name attached to it, but that's about it. Don is incredibly talented and well-rounded, and was one of the most popular members in Pentagon, but P Nation didn't help him to get bigger. Sure, Don wasn't the most enthusiastic person about appearing on variety shows, but even his releases and music were tied to Hyuna, and fans were devastated that this kept happening. The other artists at the company seemed to be having the same problem, which mainly revolves around the lacking management. When Diark was dealing with his scandal of forcing his girlfriend to have intercourse with him and being accused of underage drinking, P Nation kept silent and Diark quietly left the company. The company never addressed the issues, saying that the reason for his departure was the expiration of his contract. They even said, We will send our unstinting report for Diark's upcoming new music journey and we will support his future artistic career, which was not the best way to respond to accusations as serious as Diark's. There was also the issue of the company debuting a 12 year old in their upcoming boy group, which didn't sit well with either netizens or the fans. K pop hasn't had any strict age restrictions when it comes to debuting, but to people, 12 years old is too young. P Nation eventually listened to the criticism and decided to wait before debuting them. However, just the thought of Psy being okay with debuting a literal child was disturbing to others. Another reason why the three might have left or might have been just a tiny bit more pushed to leave could be because of the recent incident. Psy's summer swag concert has been a hot topic because of the drought that Korea was experiencing, but it got worse once a construction worker passed away after sustaining injuries while dismantling the set. The person in question was a Mongolian man in his 20s that had fallen from a height of 15 meters. The company expressed their condolences and said that they'd make sure an incident like this never happens again. However, the public was outraged. Judging by Don's comment, he and Hyanna might not be eager to join any other entertainment company in the future and might be more interested in promoting their music independently. In general, the problem with the company seems to be the poor management. They signed a lot of established artists not even a few days after the company started, so it's natural that people had expectations. Then the second they planned to debut another group and promote them, these soloists had already been left behind by the company. The promotions were lacking, and there was an obvious absence of effort in everything these artists released. While it's great that P Nation took these artists in, it's also a bit worrying that none of the idols who signed with them have decided to renew their contracts. We might not know what's really going on behind the scenes, but as you can tell, it's quite suspicious. What are your thoughts on this? Share them in the comments, and thank you for watching. Bye!